People are sometimes reluctant to show love and care for others. How can they be encouraged to show compassion for others? Jesus calls Peter and all disciples to show their love for him by taking care of his sheep. Throughout the different people encountered in different situations in our daily Bible readings, we hear Jesus' invitation to follow him. In John 18, Peter shows us what it looks like to follow Jesus even as we deny him in our lives. Thomas shows us a picture of following Jesus in the midst of our doubt in John 20. The disciples exhibit following Jesus in bringing in the kingdom of God in Matthew 10. In Matthew 9, Jesus teaches that his followers will serve people who are like sheep without a shepherd. In John 10, Jesus gives himself to us as the good shepherd who leads, dies for, and gathers all of his sheep. And in Matthew 10, Jesus calls out above all other loves in the lives of those who follow him. So as we consider the context of John, John's presentation of Jesus is unique and distinct from that of the Synoptic Gospels. Synoptic means seeing together or similar. Matthew, Mark, and Luke are synoptic. Each highlights the same events in Jesus' earthly ministry. John's Gospel begins differently. He presents Jesus Christ as the God who was in the beginning, the Word made flesh, and John foreshadows the rejection of Jesus by his own people and the sacrificial role of Jesus as the Lamb of God. The conclusion of the Gospel of John contains two distinct sections. The first section deals with Peter's reinstatement, while the second section deals with our confidence that John provides. Jesus has risen from the dead, but not ascended to the Father. He appeared to his disciples several times, and now on this last occasion, Jesus places Peter in a separate role over his flock. And that brings us to our key verse for today, which reads, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. John chapter 21, verse 15. Jesus asks Peter probing questions. His first question probes Peter to the depth of his being. Do you love me more than these? An important question is what these refers to. First, Jesus could have been asking Peter whether he loved Christ over the other disciples. Second, Christ could have been asking whether Peter loved him more than the other disciples did. Third, Jesus could be inquiring whether Peter loved him more than his boats and fish, his profession. Perhaps the question's ambiguity is not only intentional, but also suggests the need for full consecration. So in verse 15, Jesus tells Peter, feed my lambs. But his repeat of the question in verse 16 is, feed my sheep. Bosco is used more, than, more often with pigs and poimeno more often with sheep, but both mean to feed or graze an animal. While arnion is tr usually translated as lamb, in the Greek translation of the Old Testament, the yearling lamb used as a Passover sacrifice is called probaton. As Peter has disowned Christ three times, so Christ requires this elementary yet profound confession three times. Peter's response has no trace of self-righteousness. He can only appeal to the fact that the Lord knows everything and therefore knows his heart. And that is enough. To avert any doubt that Peter is fully restored to future service, Jesus again commands, feed my lambs. In this episode, Jesus makes clear that love is the only adequate basis for service and that those who are commissioned have a God-given command to tend, feed, and give watchful care to the sheep. Yet turning around and seeing John, the disciple who Jesus loved, Peter asked a troubling question. What shall this man do? It's a very human and natural question to ask. What about someone else? We tend to focus on comparisons and see how we compare to others to try to understand our position. That's not the way it works with God who is concerned about us personally. Peter tends to get distracted, but Jesus is there to remind him, follow him.